Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the interactive Road to Division 1 series. Of course, it's the series where you guys decide which teams we play with as we push through the divisions looking to get to Division 1 and win that main title. Now, the first uh, team that was suggested in the comment section for us to use today was Celtic. It was the most popular one. We got the, uh, the suggestion from Adam Craig 99, Charlie Edwards, Evan Duffy, Adam Kirby, Fergus Campbell and Gillies 00 HD. So thank you to you guys for the suggestion of Celtic and we actually got to an absolutely fantastic start with the Scottish champions. The ball's going to get played across from Chris Commons here looking for uh, Anthony Stokes running onto the through ball. Lovely first couple of touches and a fantastic finish. To be able to hook that back across the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner was a wonderful strike and we couldn't have wished for a better start to be completely honest. Absolutely flying and and we're looking to uh, to bounce back from a couple of defeats in the previous episode, and that is no better way to uh, to get off to uh, to a start in a new episode in a new game by taking an early lead with a decent goal, not not just a scrappy one, you know, one that we've actually put together a nice move and a nice finish with. And this time it was just a counter attack, and he Stokes again gets into the box and a really tidy finish up into that far top corner. Just two minutes after we scored the first one, we find ourselves two 0 up, and of course, as you may expect, that bought the early rage quit. So we pick up three points from the first game, which is more than we picked up from two of the three in the previous episode. So extremely pleased to get off to a great start. And uh, I have to say thank you to you guys for all of the comments that you put in the uh, in the comment section last episode. Again, absolutely superb. Do be aware, though, if you're going to comment multiple times for the same team, I am just going to remove the comments that you put in. And just, uh, well, with the guys that did it in the previous episode, I just muted them. So uh, they can still watch and like slash dislike the video, but they can't comment anymore. So if you want to, you know, just be polite, I guess, then uh, it would be very much appreciated. But the second team that we're using, as you can tell, is Atletico Madrid. Come up against Juventus, so it's definitely going to be a tough game. The suggestion came in from Ms. Federal 123 into the ring. Charlie Edwards again, actually, and uh, Bryce Henry. So uh, thank you to you guys for the second suggestion. And as you saw, we take a nice 1-0 lead through uh, Diego Costa with a good header. But then, unfortunately, he's going to get a couple of rebounds to get himself back in the game after 14 minutes. Fernando Llorente picking up the equal with a, a nice shot into the bottom corner. Courtois didn't even bother trying to die for it, but it wasn't long before we were back in front. Lovely back heel and then a scoop turn from Arda Turan before a fantastic finish. Really emphatic finish up into that top left-hand corner. Gianluigi Buffon absolutely no chance and we'll definitely see a replay of that because that was a really nicely well-worked goal. A back heel from Koke I think it was, just in between the lines between defence and uh, midfield a lovely scoop from from Turan to get it onto his right foot and then a great finish we we're actually going to build on that lead he was silly enough to pass it out straight to uh, straight to David Villa from a goal kick and he rounded off the first half with a lovely finish into the bottom corner to give us a 3-1 lead at the break and we weren't going to be done just yet we're going to push into the second half just after the hour mark lovely ball into Diego Costa he's got Arda Turan pushing around the outside of him nice touch and before the ball even touches the floor he's got the lob in to go over the head of Jan Luigi Buffon into the back of the net to make it 4-1. A really, really resounding victory for us here. Something that we really needed, to be completely honest, to boost confidence heading into the next couple of episodes, because of course after losing two of the three in the previous one, we needed to get some points on the board if we were going to stand a chance of getting promoted into Division 8 this season. But as you can see, we did finish the game as 4-1 victors, and we will be able to see on your screen in just a second what that means for the league table. And as you can see, we're pushing up into the promotion zone. We've got 12 points so from the last two games in this uh, in this particular division we need to get one point to ensure winning the division 9 title as well as getting promotion and we're going to try and do that with Hull City no to Hull Tigers uh, I will put that in there football is about tradition football is about history and it's not about changing it to a shitty fucking franchise name so uh, don't do it FA don't accept the uh, don't accept the request. Anyway, this suggestion came in from uh, Sean Devaney, uh, Callum Pocknell, and Joel Bates. So thank you very much to you three for the suggestion of Hull City and Sona Iluko got us off to a wonderful start. Another early goal and his feet here for this move were absolutely sexual. Just watch him holds off the defender with a strength. One touch, two touch to drag it away with the opposite foot, and then a great finish across the goalkeeper. I was particularly impressed with that. I have to be honest. But he was going to get himself back in it here. Gonzalez round the outside. Nice tidy finish. Again, across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner as opposed to the top corner this time. And we're back on level terms. Same as the uh, same as the Athletico game. We take an early lead and get pegged back 
pretty much straight away. But this time, it didn't take us 10 minutes to get back in the game. We ran straight from kickoff. So now Luko is showing, again, strength, which is good for a man of his size and the pace as well to get away from the defender. Slot it underneath the goalkeeper, and it's 2-1. And then we push into the second half, and it's Tom Hodgson with a shot from the edge of the box on his left foot, and he's going to have to book another appointment with his barber because he scored again. It's time to cut that hair, Tom. You've picked up a goal for us, and that gives us a 3-1 lead. And they're pushing further into the second half. Still not quite at the hour mark. It's actually going to make it 3-2. Torres goes on a nice run. Lovely ball around the corner. And unfortunately, Curtis Davis can't hold off the challenge. It was just a race between his striker and the goalkeeper. And the striker got there first. Made it 3-2. But again, just a couple of minutes later, we struck back to make it 4. Sone Luco. A wonderful feat for a second slash third time. Picks up his hat trick, putting it across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. And it's 4 2 before the hour mark. So, still half an hour left for us to pick up some more goals if we possibly could. And Tom Hoddleston is going to strike one from 40 yards. And the goalkeeper will be particularly disappointed with that. I went nuts when that flew in. Even though it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, I actually let out a little yelp of, uh, of delight as that flew into the back of the net. I'm not sure whether the opponent heard it through my connect or anything, but uh, I was kind of surprised. Surprised that that went in, as you might expect. Lovely strike from Huddleston from distance. Goalkeeper just should be saving that. It's real, real disappointing from him. But Independiente, Independiente Santa Fe end up getting beaten 5-2 by Hull City. As you can see from the uh, celebrations on screen, the players are absolutely, absolutely delighted. And that has confirmed our promotion and the title into Division 8 for next season. So it's time for you guys to hit up that comment section. Let me know who I should use in the next episode. Please do feel free to leave the video a like as well if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely superb. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, there will be a link to do so on your screen on the end slate coming up in just a second on the right hand side and a link in the description as well and if you missed the previous episode there's also an annotation of the left hand fist there saying previous episode to take you to that video and of course feel free to follow me on twitter as well at chesnoy gaming and leave your comments in the suggestion box down below or your suggestion in the comment box down below is the correct way for those words to be phrased but anyway that's going to wrap this one up guys thank you very much for watching we may have another team of the year pack opening tonight it may come to you tomorrow for the midfielders i'm not entirely only too short it depends whether I can get one out for tonight but you will be having another team of the year pack opening coming up over the next couple of days so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time